Analysis, Destiny 2, the final shape pre-orders appear to be less than a quarter of Lightfall's total figures. We're going to discuss this. We're going to read through this, but these numbers are essentially meaningless. Other than the fact, the, the qualitative fact that final shapes pre-orders are very low. Anything, anyone trying to put a number on this is ridiculous. Anyways, all right, so this is the Destiny Bolton guy. Good, good. The game post analysis shows Destiny 2 The Final Shape has the lowest number of pre-orders when compared to the pre-orders uh, for the last three expansions. Data sources, caveats, and methodology. This, this word should not be used here. The data used in this analysis was provided to the game post by Charlemagne, the Warmind of Discord, and a third our third-party app that obtains uh, its data directly from Bungie's API for Destiny. Uh, how this works is that Charlotte Main scans all unique Destiny profiles, which amounts to around 66 million to track every account that's acquired the pre-order bonus emblem for the expansion. These emblems can only be acquired if the player pre-orders an expansion. No notes. Uh, important! That said, it's important to note that data provided here may not be the exact, re may not be the exact representation of the official numbers as there are some limitations. For instance, Charlemagne cannot access the data of players who have set their profiles to private modes, uh, which makes up approximately 0.15% of total play. This is the one caveat, by the way. Of this methodology, the only thing that was like, oh yeah, that might affect 0.15% of the player base. This thing right here. This is what we got to call out. You can publish this in Jax right now, let me tell you. Holy. <laughs> Oh man. Once again, if you're just joining us, you should pick up the new Scaranine keychain. Link's at the top of chat. Selling through our friends at Advanced. You can get the Advanced Starter Kit for only $15. You get yourself an amazing shaker. The limited edition, limited run. There's only a certain number of these, or a small number of these, I mean. Uh, Scaranine Mother Chicken keychain. That's absolutely beautiful, double-sided, gorgeous. And four flavor packs. Uh, you can pick Energy. Focus, two of each. I recommend the Focus ones because they have some baller flavors in there. You should pick it up, link at the top of the chat. I love your face. This is the first Destiny expansion where, like, normally your pre-order bonuses are right at Rahul. This time they created the special delivery terminal. So there's, like, a billion ca caveats here. So, A, infinitely more people just visit Rahul on, on a daily basis. And so you're much more likely to see something there and pick it up. Um, there's a lot of people who took a break before this was introduced into the game and haven't come back or have come back and don't know it's a thing. And three, yeah, we're in a drought. So not a lot of people have come back to the game to pick up their f***ing emblems, okay? Uh, so we have more. We have more notes here. We are comparing the pre-orders for four Destiny 2 expansions, Beyond Light, Witch Queen, Lightfall, and Final Shape. Let's take a look at the exclusive emblems available to players who pre-ordered any edition of these expansions. Uh, comparing the numbers. So they're going to go through the numbers here. So this graph is, I think, the most telling about how ridiculous this is. So, the, like I said, we have two standard, or like two actual data points um not not really hard numbers but i'll show i'll show you what i mean surrounding the pre-orders of destiny expansions that i'm ever aware of that i'm aware of throughout the history of destiny one is for witch queen one is for lightful we're gonna look at them um this graph claims that 3.2 million people pre-ordered beyond the light 2.2 pre-ordered witch queen and 2.2 pre-ordered lightful so this was a month before witch queen came out Thank you to the more than 1 million Destiny players who have pre-ordered Destiny Witch Queen. With your incredible support, uh, it's on track to be the most pre-ordered expansion. So, there's something going on here. So, either what happened is in a month, in one month, 1 million more people pre-ordered this because it ended out at 2.2, right? According to this chart. So either half of the pre-orders come in in that final month, which might be a possibility. That's like when marketing pushes happen, people are more likely to think about it as you get closer to the deadline. Um, but I find it very hard, like I maybe I'm wrong, but it, it would seem ridiculous to be like, it's on track to be the most pre-ordered in history at 1 million if they need over 2 million more pre-orders to, to beat the previous like reign champion there. You know what I mean? If I'm less than 33% towards my target, I ain't tweeting shit. I am not tweeting shit, dog. Which makes me think this number is 
fucked up. Somehow, some way, that number is wrong. Over double the amount of people ended up pre-ordering it. So a million, 0.2, 1.2 million people pre-ordered it past that date in three weeks. And if that's the case, then using data that is three months out from an expansion is ridiculous anyways. Because um, if half of it comes in that final month, what the f*** are we doing here? You know what I mean? You can't use this data at all. All right, so how do I uh, how do I see the historical data on Braytac? Oh, this is incredible. This is literally incredible. Like, look at this. What day did Flightfall launch? The 28th? Three weeks before Lightfall came out, 220,000 accounts had this. The day after Lightfall came out, three, almost 400,000. Nearly twice as many people had it. Three months before, 130,000, 1.3. Day of launch, 400,000. A quarter, a quarter of the number of people that have it. A quarter. So if you're saying three months out, a quarter as many people have pre-ordered this DLC. I just showed you how it's going to quadruple. That says it all. That's literally, that lines up perfectly. I'm not saying as many people are going to pre-order Lightfall or uh, Final Shape as Lightfall and Witch Queen. I'm just saying the data that we are using three months out with numbers that don't make any sense this is ridiculous. None of this means anything. Let's look at uh, Witch Queen. Scraping about the same number of people. A, le a little less. A few, well, like 10% uh, less people. Uh, less than 100,000 people at it. This literally, this uh, once again, three, four times. Yeah, right around a four times increase, right between a three and a four times increase between between those windows, three months out. So this sort of graph, there's so many holes here. A, why are we looking at final shape data when we are three months out and we know we have facts that most of the pre-orders happen in the, in the final month and we're three months out. When that beyond light number by every measurable statistic makes literally zero sense. Why are we giving this the light of day? What is happening here? You know what I mean? And once again, do we think they're gonna make up two million pre-orders in three months? No, I like no one is arguing that Final Shape is is going is not hitting Bungie's projections. Once again, by self-admission, they have said it's not hitting their projections. And the hype, just from a community standpoint, is clearly not there. And the delays disrupting the pre-orders obviously is not helping. Okay. There's a lot of things going against this expansion. No one's saying otherwise. But hate articles like this do absolutely nothing. And once again, just wanna like Nothing I've said here is defending Bungie. Calling out bad data and, and you know, sensation, sensation, sensationalism uh, and using that and exploiting that to rile up people to get clicks and get people, like I'm talking about it, it's obviously working. I'm calling out bad practices by a media company.